welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a little recap um, from the last video and explaining why I've been MIA, um, whether you've noticed or not. Um, so stick around, tag along with me, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and that way you don't miss any of our upcoming videos because we have a lot of great content coming up uh, in the near future. So let's get into today's video. Okay, so let's just jump right into it. Why have I been MIA? Why has it been so long since I've updated y'all? Here we go. So if we journey back to my last video that I posted, I talked about Hazel and Rowan and how they had successfully honeymooned and we have their litter on the way. And then the video before that was about River and Kobe and how they had successfully honeymooned. And in both of those videos, I did mention like when their ultrasounds would be to confirm pregnancy, but here we are and I have not updated. I've updated on my Instagram. So if you don't follow me there, um, I'll put it on the screen right here and you can go follow me over there. Um, but it's at Maggie Moose Doodles. So if you don't follow me there, you're going to get the information first over there. But um, since then, since the last video that I posted, all of that did still happen. We still did go to those ultrasounds and it all still happened. River had her ultrasound on March 14th and Hazel had her ultrasound on March 20th. We did go to those, but the reason that I've been MIA is on March 14th when River's ultrasound appointment was that evening I was not feeling too great, um, and it is springtime and everything's turning green, so I kind of figured it was just my seasonal allergies or my asthma flaring up, but come to find out, I tested positive for COVID. So, and that was also that whole entire week, the 13th through, I can't remember what date, but the, that whole week was my kids' spring break, so they were all five home, every single day, all day long. And so on the Tuesday, they were out Monday through Friday. On Tuesday was River's ultrasound. That evening, I found out that I had COVID. So the rest of the week, the kids were home with me, which was a blessing and not at the same time because it was a blessing because they could help me out. Um, but also not because, you know, that's more of them, you know, being in the same house with me all day long and possibly contracting the same thing. Um, but they did not, luckily. Nobody, nobody got it. Nobody else got it. Um, but I did not feel well all week. So the rest of that week was me trying to muster up the strength to just get through the day and try to have as little contact as possible with the kids. I tried to stay in here in my master bedroom as much as I could, um, but I was technically able to go back into public the next Monday, and the next Monday happened to be Hazel's ultrasound day, <laughs> so we did go to that. And I will insert all the, I did record little clippets from River's ultrasound and Hazel's ultrasound um, of the appointment and the actual ultrasounds. I did record how the day went and I will input those right after this and um, show you what the verdict was. But um, the next week when my kids went back to school, the next week, had Hazel's ultrasound, and that whole week, I don't know if it was just the fact that I had, I was sick the entire week of their spring break, so I had more, um, more on my hands to do, like more, I had my hands full, basically, with all five kids being home, 
and still having to, you know, take care of all the dogs and obviously myself, my kids, our ducks, our chickens, our turkeys, <laughs> all the things, the house, the laundry. Uh, I don't know if it was just I had too much on my hands during the spring break week and I didn't give myself time to heal or what, but the next week, the week of Hazel's ultrasound, I did not feel good still. I just could not kick it. And I still, um, it's the 31st of March and I still don't feel back to normal. I still, which could be seasonal allergies at this point in time, because more things have turned green outside. And once it starts turning green, I need to just put myself in like a bunker and stay there because I can't, my nose runs and just, oh, it's awful. But I still don't feel completely back to normal, but I just could not kick it that next week. So I would get up, get the kids off to school, do, you know, my morning chores and household duties. And I was basically just getting through the day. So that's why I have been MIA and I've tried to keep content up on like our socials, like our Facebook and TikTok and Instagram. Um, I've tried to keep that content up because it's quick and easy to do, but sitting down and recording for a video, I have looked I have looked awful, y'all. I have looked awful the past couple weeks. I've looked like a pure zombie that just rolled out of the grave. So putting my face in front of a camera just was not something you would want to see. <laughs> so that's why I have been MIA. So I've talked for long enough now, so I'm going to insert the video clips that I did get from Rivers ultrasound appointment and Hazel's ultrasound appointment. And then I will go in there with River and Hazel and show you what they are looking like as of today and show you them and let them make their little appearance in today's video as well. Okay, we finally made it into the room after waiting over an hour. They're so busy. They had, even though we made this appointment four weeks ago, they had so many emergencies come in. But River's in here, and they're about to get everything set up finally. So I'll update y'all when we get back to the car. Who's there? You're gonna have to There's another one. It's Hazel. Now it's Hazel's turn. Do you see the little babies? Yeah. Yeah. Good gracious, sister, you're not done. I got Ayla. I got Ayla. Quit breathing so heavy. He's trying to say heartbeat, sorry. I have quite a few. Quite a few, meaning more than seven. Five. 
47. I don't even do x-rays, but I'm tempted to do x-ray with this one. I don't think you have over 16. Oh God. Just don't. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it with Hazel though. This is a big girl. Her mama had two litters of 12. Yeah. And our poodle that we bred Hazel with, he come from a litter of 12 as well. So they're probably gonna double it and just be like, let's have 24. That's not like fun. Good. I've got little heartbeats in there. She has shown every symptom in the book. Normally my moms are like not as many on this side as the other side. Quite a few on this side. There's almost three in the picture. I'm not joking her, I promise. <laughs> Baby. How many you got in there? Everywhere he moves, there's babies. Yeah, yeah, all of them. All of them. Are yeah. All of them. So apparently they heard me um, say their names and I had the door shut and they were scratching at the door to get in here. So here's Hazel and here's what her belly is looking like right now. <laughs> we got some homeschool work going on too. He relocated into here with me. And here's her belly. The, my reproductive vet specialist. He, his exact words with Miss Hazel were, because <laughs> um, you can't do, we don't do a puppy count on ultrasound because it's not uh, accurate. But his exact words for me, for Hazel, were definitely more than eight and less than 16. <laughs> so, so that's what he said about Miss Hazel, but we've seen so many little babies in there and her belly has gotten so big. Hazel came from a litter of 12, so I'm expecting a bigger litter with her, but she might surprise me. So, <laughs> but there's Miss Hazel. Now we gotta go find River. I found her. She's in here with the baby and Scarlett. Yeah. But here's what Miss River Grace's your ears all broken looking girl. Here's what River's belly's looking like. Oh my goodness, you're gonna stretch your leg out. And she's a week ahead of Hazel. So she's a great deal bigger than Hazel. And she's normally really petite. Yeah. She's only 39. She's only 39 pounds pre-pregnancy. So she's she's little. Scarlet Rain jumped over you? Yeah. Whoa. And here is <laughs> oh gosh. See, this is why it's hard to film these videos when the baby is awake or home. <laughs> so we are super excited and puppy prep has begun. I can show you. I'm in the puppy room. It's dark in here. We're expecting a giant storm. I forgot to change my calendar today. But puppy prep is underway. I haven't opened these boxes yet because I'm saving it for my puppy prep video. Yeah. But we are definitely getting ready for River and Hazel's babies. They're trying to break into Rowan's crate and get his yak cheese. But 
we are definitely prepping for these puppies and we're so excited so if y'all liked today's video and you are as ready as we are for more puppy content happy things exciting things and i have some non-puppy content coming too then don't forget to subscribe so you get notifications and we'll see you in the next one. Say bye.